Hi everybody, Steve here in Quartzsite, Arizona at my mom's house in Rainbow Acres. Just returned from my walk and I had to come in here to the shed and turn off the battery that I was charging from yesterday. It's used in the pool vacuum and I learned how to use that yesterday. It's like every day is a, uh, an educational experience out here for me. I keep learning all these new things. I really haven't spent much time here over the years, at least doing anything. I would come for holidays and birthdays and visits, but never actually worked around the yard or did, did anything here. Now I need to do that to help my mom since so she can't do any of that herself. So after breakfast this morning, we're going to head up to the city of Parker, Arizona, which is about, I think it's about 45 minutes away or so north of uh, Quartzsite. But today we're heading up to do some shopping and get some supplies up in, uh, uh, there's a big Walmart up there. It's the closest Walmart to Quartzsite. As I mentioned in my last vlog, my mom had a stroke about three months ago and then was released from rehab about two months ago. She spent about three weeks at the Cobalt Rehabilitation Center in Surprise, Arizona, which is just a little bit west of Phoenix. It was a very nice rehabilitation center, but she definitely did not want to be there. Her stroke didn't affect her physically at all, so she didn't think anything was wrong and just kept telling us that she was fine and just wanted to go home. It was just about the only thing she could communicate to us, and she never stopped until she finally got to go home. While the stroke really didn't affect her physically very much at all, and she's physically able to do just about everything she did before the stroke, but her brain was affected dramatically. She was diagnosed with Wernicke's aphasia and has a very difficult time now understanding what people are saying to her, and an even more difficult time communicating what she wants to say. And this makes her very frustrated since she doesn't really understand anything that's happened. When she first came home from the hospital, she was very angry and hostile and stubborn and even aggressive. She was so difficult to be around that she drove away most of her friends. And then she was sad because no one came to see her anymore, and she had no idea or awareness that it was because of her hostile behavior. It's been a very difficult and rough two months for everyone. She finally seems to understand what's happened, and even though she's sometimes depressed about it, she seems to have accepted it, even though she still thinks she doesn't really need any help from anyone. But without the help of me and my brothers and other family members, neighbors, paid caregivers, medical professionals, and friends, especially her closest friend Dorothy, who lives nearby in Rainbow Acres, she wouldn't survive on her own for a week or be able to stay in the home she loves. Not only are we taking care of her, we're also taking care of her home, her car, her yard, her pool, her six pets, her medical appointments, her prescriptions, her bills, her finances, and on and on. We just all have to laugh that she seems blissfully unaware of how much help she actually does need. Now that she's starting to accept her situation, she's making life a lot easier not only for everyone else, but mostly for herself. She still has good days and bad days, but for the last couple of weeks they've mostly been good days. And sometimes it's almost as if she never had a stroke. We have high hopes that she'll continue to improve and to be able to enjoy the rest of her life, but all we can do is take it one day at a time. Mom loves to be outdoors and loves the desert heat, so being trapped inside for the past few months, I'm sure has affected her moods as well. Thankfully, it's a beautiful and warm March day, and Mom is in a very good mood and happy to be out of the house. So Dorothy got her own basket, so Mom is with her while I'm uh, looking for stuff for Mom. And uh, I've never been to a Walmart that's this uh, crowded. Of course, I never go in the middle of the day like this. I think it's around 11, 12 o'clock. <laughs> I usually go at, uh, uh, as soon as they open, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So it makes a huge difference. Shopping is definitely one of Mom's triggers. She gets very frustrated because she can't communicate. So she knows she wants something, but she can't quite tell us what she wants. And then she gets upset that we don't understand what she wants, what she's saying. And so it at times it can be very difficult so it'll be interesting to see with at least uh, Dorothy and I both here today and we do have a long list of things so maybe we can uh, get through the uh, shopping experience without uh, too much trauma for mom. I need to get some potassium chloride for the uh, soft water system but I thought they might have some here but it doesn't look like they do. They have a pretty small outdoor garden area so I'll probably have to go to uh, Home Depot for that. All right, you think it's on the next aisle? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go take a look. Over the past couple of months, Dorothy has really become something of a mind reader when it comes to mom. Well, this looks like bird seed over here. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh one over one. this way. Hamster seed. Next one. Yeah, okay. they do. 
But she's much better than me when it comes to figuring out what mom wants. Well, I already got the little dog bones, the mini dog bones. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've done what do you, what do you think, mom? But that one with that one, we had never been able to hear them. They love them so much. They love them? Yes. Nope. Doesn't seem it does. I think that's the right one. Seems like they rubbed it. Todd? Well, no, this is no, the one. No, they Yeah, no, this is a good one. That's them. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you found it. That's yeah. what I said. They had two here, and I had them forever. Yeah. And I don't, so now I'll get them now. I didn't realize you were out. I thought we still had a bag, but they can always use another bag. That was the one. Yeah. They look everybody in those. They love it. Good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I know what I need. I wish I knew what I needed. Huh? I wish I knew what I needed. I need I need a, a thing for my phone to put in a car. Oh yeah, like the one we just I just uh, used. Yeah, because mine doesn't mine doesn't work in the. Okay, yeah, let's do. I think this is the section right here. Right here. Probably right. Well, not that's Nintendo, but somewhere in the section. Dorothy has a Google Pixel phone, and I guess she's looking for a car charger for it. Mom has an iPhone 10 and can still use it, sort of. It's got to be the kind that sticks in the thing that I got. Yeah, and, and they're usually pretty, pretty, there's usually a lot of them, they're pretty popular. Even though she's somewhat visually impaired because of her macular degeneration and usually can't communicate to us what she wants, Mom still loves to shop. Over the door shoe organizer. Put them over the door and then you can put your shoes in it and they're up off the floor and they're not in, in your closet on the floor. There's nothing that she particularly needs today. We've stocked up on just about everything she could ever need. So she's not frustrated today trying to find things. She's just enjoying being out and about, which is nice to see. It's very rare to see her like this in a store. And Dorothy and I were very reluctant to bring her today, but I'm glad we did. Well, I want to go get some ice cream when you're ready. I mean, when you're ready to go, just let me know. I'm ready. Go ahead and go get your ice cream. Okay. I'll wait for you. All right. By the size okay, of this crowd, you would never expect that this is a Wednesday in the middle of the day in Parker, Arizona, which is a small desert town. I think you have a I, lot of batteries outside where the That's my notice, yeah. Is. I'm going to try to organize all of them. I don't know how good they are since being outside where it's warm. Yeah. Well, it's a total madhouse today in the checkout line. Should we use the, the self-checkout? That's usually what I do, but I think there's more people at the self-checkout than there are here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, at least everyone's got a good sense of humor about the uh, the uh, crowds here. This is why I shop at, as soon as Walmart opens in Palm Springs at, uh, I think it's 6.30 or 7 in the morning. Not only did mom have a wonderful day out today, but her neighbors and friends came by late this afternoon and we had our first barbecue of the season. We've always called mom the party girl because there's nothing mom likes more than a get together at her house with friends. So she was a very happy camper today. And you've all made me a very happy camper today too. My vlog last week announcing the change to my channel received more comments in the first day than I've ever received on any other video that I've ever done. And I've done nearly 250 over the past three years. Your thoughts and prayers and well wishes are beyond awesome. I'm also so grateful to all of you who took the time to share your own heartwarming caregiver stories. It may take me days or even weeks to read and reply to all of your comments, but I just wanted to let you know that I will get to all of them. And if my mom were able to understand, she would be very touched. 
And last but definitely not least, I want to thank my latest Patreon supporters, Matthew Ogilvie and Debbie Scherer for your very generous contributions. And Justin Jackson, once again, for the largest pledge increase I've ever received. Thank you all very much. You're all very special.